Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you something uh, like how to create a command of Spring Boot project. Okay, uh, these are all the instructions which I'm going to follow to create the application. Okay, the first one is like create Spring Boot project. Okay, I'm using uh, uh, Visual Studio Code to create the Spring Boot application. Now get into the Visual Studio Code and press Control Shift P and choose the Spring Initializer. Now you have to choose the Spring Boot version and you have to choose the language and you have to give the group ID. I'm giving it as Sticky Talks. Then Artifact ID, I'm giving it as Kamunda. Now you have to choose the packaging type. I'm choosing it as VAR and you have to specify the Java version. Don't give any dependencies because we are going to add in the XML uh, folder. So where your project will need to be generated workspace here generate into this folder now our project file will get generated yeah now click on open fine wait it's loading Okay, now all done. Now we can edit uh, the pom.xml. So go to the sheet. Like the second step is like we need to add the dependencies in pom.xml, right? So the first one is property. Come under property. We need to add it in the property section. Here, the property thing will be here. Yeah. So Java version is already there. Now we need to add the command version. And then we need to add the dependencies. So I'm adding Commander and Jack's dependencies. Save it. done now we can go for uh, the third point so now we need to add the application.aml file inside the resource folder and inside the file we need to add the user id and password to launch the uh, command application okay now we'll create the aml file copy this and go to source main resources so here we need to create new file paste the name again go to the notepad and copy this content paste it here and save it okay now the build is done now we can start the application Okay, now we can launch Commander. Your username and password uh, already filled, right? So this these details will be fetched uh, from the application.aml file where we have specified the username and password. Okay, so now click on the login button. Close it. Close it. Okay, guys, now we got the cockpit task list and admin thing and all. Okay, okay, guys, this is how we need to configure uh, 
we need to create a Spring Boot command application. And in the next video, we'll see, you no, know, we'll design a flow and uh, uh, we'll deploy and check it through the Spring Boot app, okay? And thanks for watching and please do subscribe to the channel to get more videos about Kamunda.